fleas are very common. Um, they tend to occur at least up to 50% of kids will have a nosebleed by the time they turn five. Um, and by the time we're adults, almost every single person has had at least one nosebleed. Nosebleeds are caused by a variety of things, but the most common cause of nosebleeds is um, mucosal irritation or um, dryness um, in the nose. The nose is a very vascular organ um, and the blood vessels are very close to the surface. So anything that will cause the mucosa um, or the surface of the nose to be irritated um, can lead to those blood vessels getting um, broken and nose bleeding to occur. Um, nosebleeds tend to be worse anytime when the humidity is low. So um, during the winter when you're indoors a lot and there's um, heating is on, um, that tends to cause a low humidity environment in the house or in the buildings you're in. So that tends to dry out your nose, which leads the nosebleeds to occur a little bit more commonly. Also, if you live in a dry, low humid environment like the desert, they tend to see increased nosebleeds there as well uh, because the humidity is low. In order to prevent nosebleeds, we go back to that the most common cause is mucosal irritation or dryness. So doing things that will prevent the nasal surface from becoming dry and becoming irritated. Um, that can be something as simple as putting a humidifier in the room as um, your child sleeps. You could also use some of the hydrating nasal sprays. The nasal saline sprays can also help keep things moisturized. Or even just some Vaseline. If your child's prone to nosebleeds um, or they have, tend to be a nose picker, um, putting a little bit of Vaseline um, on a fingertip and rubbing it on the inside of the nose helps keep it nicely moisturized and prevents the um, nosebleeds from occurring. The best way to stop a nosebleed um, is kind of twofold. You want to pinch actually the soft part of your nose towards the front, um, not the bridge of the nose because you're not really going to be able to compress anything there, but you want to pinch the soft part of your nose and lean forward. And you want to apply steady pressure for five minutes um, on that soft part of the nose. The, the common um, misconception is you lean back, but that actually causes you to swallow blood, which can be irritating on the stomach, cause you to throw up, um, and lead to more issues. Um. A parent should become concerned about nosebleeds um, for a few reasons. One would be that if the nosebleed does not stop when, a pressure, when pressure is applied, you can try to apply five minutes of pressure once or twice, which should be sufficient to stop the nosebleed. If that's not sufficient, they should be seen at the lo their local emergency room or urgent care clinic. Also, if the, the, the child is having multiple nosebleeds, so if it's something that's happening a few times a week, or if they're worsening in severity, they started out light and they're getting heavier and heavier with each one, again, they should um, definitely be seen by either their primary care doctor or in an emergency room for that. Also, if they're having any bleeding anywhere else, so they not only are having the nosebleeds, but the parents notice bleeding anywhere else in the gums when they're brushing the teeth, easy bruising, things that would make you think that they actually have a bleeding disorder, um, they should be seen for that.